Hello and welcome. Today in this tutorial I'm going to attempt to finish all 10 levels of the Python How Python challenge that is intended for people, for coders, for developers that are in beginner stage. So if it's not too complex, if you're a beginner then I think that you would enjoy this video. So pythonhow.com then on the top right you have the Python challenge. I advise you to start with the challenge on your own and if you're stuck at any level come back to this video uh, in the description I'm going to put the minute and second where the challenge starts so if you're stuck you can take a look at how I did it move to the next one and so on so first of all the instructions again there are 10 levels uh, the way it works is you get the task you get the challenge and how you check the answer itself is by changing the URL so on the top you have the URL it's currently as instructions and in order to start I have to change it to start uh, once we are in the second the first second third challenge and so on we test our answer by changing this URL to what we believe is the correct answer to that challenge and we get if it's correct we go to the next level if it's not then well we will notice that anyway so let's start with the first one the first question is the first challenge that we have is what is the 101st character of the text now if you've used Python before if you're familiar with the syntax you know that Python doesn't count as as us as humans so it doesn't start with 1 2 3 4 5 but it starts with 0 1 2 3 4 5 so the first character for us is the zeroth character for Python I'm going to copy this text and uh, so the challenge is to, to solve it with Python of course if even if you don't have any Python notes you can just count the 101st character but that would take a lot of time but that's not how the challenge is intended to be solved so I'm going to print the hundredth element so the hundred and first character and the answer is T so if you got the letter T then well done so instead of start now we have T as our final answer for the first challenge And very good now we're off to challenge number two the challenge number two asks us to find the middle character of, of the text now um, finding the middle character is easy once you know how many characters are there then you can of course find the middle character how do we get the, 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 the total characters is by specifying well asking for the length of the whole text so we can say that well first we could ask Python to print the length of x for us let's start by that so there are a total of 1917 characters now this is completely different from the index that we did before in this case when counting the length it actually starts with one so this part it counts as human so if we if we have a uh, for example a text with let's say just one character if we ask Python to print uh, the, the zeroth element we would get a but if we ask Python to print how how long how many characters are there it will still say one so when it comes to counting the elements it starts with zero but when we ask for Python to print basically or to, to, to count the the length then it starts with one so the next step since we need uh, the, the middle one is we need to divide it by two what we do is we, we divide it we start with zero and we we want to divide it by two so we get 958.5 so that means that we need the 959th character in our terms in our language because this was again in human language not in python language so how do we get the the middle one in python language we need the x so the x well maybe i'm going to rewrite this to text maybe that's um, much better so out of the text we need 958 element because it starts from zero so we get x and that should be the answer to our second challenge 
Good, level 3. So we need the three middle characters. Now the easiest way would be, well, copy this and then paste it two more times, right? And then just change it to, to, well, plus and minus one. And then, of course, you get the right answer. So it's 8x8. But what if we needed 15 characters? Would it be smart to have 15 lines of code? Probably not. Well, the best way to do it is by indexing. Again, starting with 957, then we can use the semicolon and then specify where we would like Python to go up to and stop. In this case, it would be 960. The way indexing works is it starts at the number that we give at the beginning and it goes to the second number that we specify, but it does not include that one. So this would basically print 957, 958, and 959, and then it would stop, which is exactly what we need. So I'm going to print this one, and we have AXA. So AXA should be the solution to our challenge. Challenge level four. Find the total number of characters, convert that number to letters of alphabet, and you get the keyword for the next level. So let's do it like that. First, total number of characters, then convert to letters. In order to find the total number of characters, we can just uh, specify, uh, let's say, num of characters, and that would be the length of the text. And that, that's fine. That, that part we have done. But how do we convert every number to letter? If we store it like this, we would have a number that we already saw was uh, 1917, I believe. And if we want to, con to, to actually convert this to strings by using like a for loop, this is a number. So it would run 1917 times. It would not run four times because we what, what we need is we need to, in this part, to run a script that would be like for every number in num of characters, then we want to have uh, basically the, the letter. So I'll just say letter. But we want this to run four times. So for every number, we want it to run once. In order to make that happen, we need to convert this to a string, because in that case, we have just four characters. We don't have uh, a number that's 1917, but we have four characters. Now, how do we convert it to strings? We saw that basically this part, how it's mentioned in the challenge, is exactly the same as how Python would actually convert if we had an alphabet and as a string and the zeroth element would be A, the first element would be B, and so on. So what we can do is we can have the alphabet, and then and then we could basically, for every number, but let's have here a maybe the solution and we have the solution being an empty string well nothing yet but for every number we want to append it to the solution uh, basically the alphabet the index but mm, now we have to convert this to an integer so what we do here is we for every number so we start with number one one nine one seven was the number of characters or the length of the text so for every number we go to this alphabet string and we search for that element so we need the first one because that's what has been mentioned in the instructions of the python challenge so let's print this out and let's see what would be the solution to our fourth challenge B J B H. Well done. Challenge level five. 
find the number of words, then convert that number into letters. Okay, well, if we compare it to this part, this part of the code is something that we can already use, except here instead of number of characters, we would need, well, let's say number of words. But how do we get that? Um, the best way would be to split this text and get only the words. There's already uh, one function that we can use. I'm going to put here a number of words. Um, and then, well, let's first get the, no the, the words. So how do we get the words? Well, words equals text.split. That's it. We already have the words. The number num of words would be basically the length of the words. So if we have the, the length, uh, if we have the words and we just count them, that's how, how we would get the, the length, basically, the number of words. But again, we need to have this as a string. Let's see if, if we run this script like this, if we would get a solution. CIA. So this should be very nice. So now we move to challenge level six. Uh, 